Well, two old middle school students is one of only three teams in America heading to the National Transportation and Civil Engineering Bridge Building Competition. And WCBI's Kristen Jackson talked with the group about their project and their future engineering. Just to help you lift it. What happens is the string right here, you pull the bridge like that, and it's making the string tighter. And the string pulls right here and right here, making the bridge go up. And then for the past three months, these Tupelo Middle School students have been coming to school early, staying late, and even spending Saturday afternoons putting together a special project. And all of that hard work has earned them national recognition. It, it is exciting. We're, we're going to a national competition in Missouri. And our bridge, I'm proud of uh, all the work we put into it and actually being able to go. It was good enough to go. So there's one team from New Hampshire, one from Missouri, and one from Mississippi. And we're the one from Mississippi. And uh, we're, I'm excited about the students going, about them competing, about them presenting and representing Mississippi. During the National Transportation and Civil Engineering Bridge Building Competition, build a bridge. They write proposals and create a portfolio, all while using skills ranging from math to English. This was just a really good experience because it showed us like a real life model and it wasn't one of those things where you sat down and you know, you wrote math problems like you generally tend to do in math classes. You really applied your math. And for some, the competition has sparked an interest in engineering as a profession. I could consider it because, I mean, we did have a lot of fun building it. It was different than most things that I've done. I mean, I like the problem solving of this doesn't work, so what are we going to do? In Tupelo, Kristen Jackson, WCBI News. Total of eight groups in Tupelo Middle School participated in the bridge building competition. It's sponsored statewide by MDOT and nationally by the American Association of State and Highway Transportation.